Okay, guys, we're back for another game, and we have four lands, some two card draw spells, and a counter spell. We're going to keep this. Because our opponent is on play, I am fine with just playing an island to hopefully get some use out of Spell Snare. We're not doing anything fast, so we can afford to play this tap land at some point. This looks like it could be like Soul Sisters or something. Um, let's play our Colonnade here, pass the turn back. Polluted Delta, most likely getting a Watery Grave. Do I want to Spell Snare that? I'm sure, why not? I mean, we're, we want targets, and there is one. Getting Inquisitioned, probably going to take a Spell Snare. I'm hoping he doesn't take our Esper Charm. He can take Think Twice. If this is Black White Tokens, I think we're actually pretty okay in that matchup because we have Wrath Effects to negate all of the pseudo card advantage he gets out of those. And Esper Charm can actually, is, is a main deckable way to get rid of his enchantments. So. Um, well, we'll just play this Polluted Delta and pass the turn back. This deck has pretty steep mana requirements. Need triple white and triple blue. And some black here and there. It's mostly white and blue, though. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get a Watery Grave, Flashback, Think Twice. I'm not sorry, just cast Think Twice. And... Just play a Ghost Quarter. And now we have Cryptic Command up, which is exactly where we want to be. Um, <clears throat> we could just cast Thing twice, but Flashback costs a little more, so we might as well do it since... Let's see here. Um, we're not under any pressure. I'm going to shock ourselves because that means we can actually cast Think Twice, Flashback Think Twice, or if our opponent casts a spell here, we can peek in response, kind of like we talked about in the beginning, and see if it's actually something that we need to counter or not. Um, I will happily just spell snare a bitter blossom. Um, so now I will peek. Opponent just has a couple of cards. Path in a land. Okay, well. Temple Garden and a path. Can't trip her way into another land. Play a thing twice. Uh, we'll just play a drowned catacomb and pass. Don't really want to activate colonnade and get it path for no reason. Um, I don't care if he sees our cryptics. He can't take them, and if he wants, he can discard Think Twice, but we're just going to flash it back, so. All right. Does not want to try to fight through all of those cryptics. Okay, so I think Jace seems good against tokens. I think Wrath is good against tokens. Detention Sphere, I think, is fine against tokens. Our Path to Exiles, I think, are poor. Um... 
I want to keep two just in case he has like Hero of Blade Hold or something like that. Um, probably unnecessary, but <laughs> I'm almost tempted to bring in a bribery. Uh, so we can take like, if I saw Hero, I'd consider it. Um, we can probably just take out another path. I just don't think there's much for us to path. This seems good. I'll submit this. See you guys. And oh, there, he, there he is, ready to go. Um, hmm. Not super thrilled about this one. Um, I guess if we draw a land, then we can start drawing cards. This may be the wrong keep. Like I said, I haven't played much of this deck yet, though, so... It does mean, though, that if he has Hand Disruption, we have plenty of things. Which he does. I have a snack here, and I'm really hungry. I want to eat it. <laughs> it's the piece of bread from the other night. I'm going to pause. I'm going to eat it because I'm hungry. Okay, finish chewing that. Take our turn. Well, Wrath is going to be good. We'll play Colonnade. Pass. We just need to draw lands. We just really need to draw a land. A land that gets us a black source. Bitter Blossom is kind of annoying. We can kill it. Um... Well, you're going to see answers to your things. We have 26 lands in this deck. We hey, hopefully can draw one. If he takes a Wrath, then I will probably draw cards with one Esper Charm and blow up Bitter Blossom with another. Sorry, I'm not going to keep pausing it. I'll try not to, like, be too rude here. I don't know how much chewing sounds the microphone's picking up, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, man, this guy's got decisions, big ones. Because we can still get Esper Charm back with Snapcaster Mage. We can get back Wrath of God with a Snapcaster Mage. We desperately need to draw a land. I think first priority, if we do get a black source, is to Esper Charm for cards. Um, okay, well, he just has two Thought Seizes. This is likely just not a great keep on our part. All right, well, we're going to think twice now, hoping to hit a land drop. All right, we're in kind of bad shape now. Kind of in worse shape now. Well, we have a land, but none of the things we want to do to do with it. All right, well, we're going to take a lot here. All right, let's get, we have double white 
there. We'll just get a black source. Uh, no, we do not. If we can draw a land, then we can kind of hold our opponent at bay a little bit, but he's about to be able to activate a Windbrisk Heights, probably just losing this game. Definitely losing this game. Two, four, six, eight. And this guy's gonna be three, six, nine, twelve. I mean if we rip a land. Is he gonna cast this? This is probably like a pump spell, rather it's just another anthem effect, so we're probably super dead. Yeah, we're super dead. Okay. Well, that's not a Wrath, but how terrible is it that we can't use it on this or this, and we have to use it on these or else we die? That's so annoying. That's so unfortunate. I really thought we would draw more lands. I mean, we're a very land-heavy deck here. Buys us a turn. That's a that's a pretty stout fairy. Well, I guess we have to Wrath, or else we're dead. I mean, we're, it's very unlikely we're winning this game, but we're going to try to hold on as long as we can. Well... I don't even care about his ultimate. Let's see. I think we want to tap draw to draw another card here. I don't know if we can live long enough for our opponent's Bitter Blossom to kill him, but it would be funny if we could. All right, tap and draw. Um. We're going to Wrath. I wish we had enough to Wrath and think twice, but we don't. Um, definitely going to take our wrath. <laughs> yeah. Well, we will try again. 
Okay, so we definitely want Celestial Purge. Um, and we went Disenchant. Those were both a mistake. It was a mistake not to bring in the Disenchant. Now that we know he's on Bitter Blossom, we want to bring in the Celestial Purge. Um, I still think that the Path is probably our worst card here. Um, everything else seems fine. Maybe, you know, I guess Batter Skull is not great because it does not even block his flying tokens. Um... It can help us gain life and get ahead. Let's see, is there anything else that's worse? I think all of this stuff is just better than a batter skull right now. So, except maybe a peak. Like, <clears throat> I don't know though. The cantrip is 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 kind of nice, and like if you saw there, like the batter skull was not going to get us out of that mess we were in. Um, peak or batter skull? I think probably still just want a batter skull instead of just a peak, but we'll submit this. I'm going to play first. Hoping for lots of lands. Um, this is better than our last hand. We're going to keep and we're going to start with Flooded Strand to get a Hollowed Fountain. Our opponent's probably bringing in like eight disruption spells, unfortunately. So even though we have some answers here, it's probably unlikely that we're going to get to utilize them. It's going to be just Inquisition or Thoughtseize. I'm just going to go into fetch really quick. It's not going to change our play. We're going to get this Hollowed Fountain, and we'll F6, let our opponent take. Could just be taking Logic Knot here. Uh, took our Esper Charm. Okay, so we'll play Drown Catacomb and pass. Um, no idea how much our opponent brought in, but I'm fine to just counter this like. Logic Knot is even is, is not even our best spell here. I think trying to protect this Detention Sphere is probably more important. It just has another Hand Disruption spell. It's unfortunate. Um, but it is what it is. My guess is he's going to take the Detention Sphere. Yeah, he's probably not as afraid of this Batter Skull. Um, we'll play the Watery Grave Tapped and Pass. We're just going to be think twice in here. So our opponent probably has four real spell, real spells, is my guess. Think twice our way into another think twice. Uh, play our island and pass. Jeez, man. Leave me alone. Um, I'm just going to... Let's see. I can let him discard us for charm or I can draw to. I think I just want to draw to. The, on, the only like unfortunate thing about that is... We could potentially just draw into something that we want to keep. Um, I guess I'd just rather fire it off. I don't know if that's correct or not. Yeah, I still think we... Because we still want to get two cards out of it. At least we can do that. We could have also made him discard. That might have been better. Making him discard two probably was is better.
Well, I'm glad we have our rev. We're not going to get to use it for much right now, but we need to find another another white source. There is one. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're just going to play Colonnade and then pass and probably flash back this thing twice. Like, we could have played a thing twice and flash back a thing twice, but if we draw a Supreme Verdict or a Wrath, I'd like to get... I'd like to have the white to have it online. So we have the tools to effectively combat what this deck is doing. But it's hard when they just get taken away. <laughs> okay, so this could also... Okay, he didn't activate that. What is it? Kind of surprised... Well, no, that would, he could have done that first. All right, well, that's a bummer. So we desperately, desperately, desperately want to draw a Wrath here. Did not. Man, I guess that's game. Because this is going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can rev for 3 and go up to 9 and just die. Um, I guess we can play this thing twice and hope that we still draw into a Wrath. Nope. All right, well, we did win this one. But we will try again, I think, most likely. I will probably see you guys for another one in a few minutes. Uh, thanks for watching.